Hey, how are you today? Woke up breathing. Oh, hey, that's a good thing. My name's Tim. My name's Tim. Hey, you know what? Good Actually, thing. it's Timothy. My name's Timothy as well. Good things come with Timothy. Where'd you come from? From right here. Now, let me ask uh, you a I question. I came from my mother. Let me ask you. Well, me too. Wait! <laughs> let me ask you a question. Maybe we're related. She was an airline pilot. She got around. She always told me I had a twin. <laughs> okay, we're going to change subjects. What do you who, think about North Korea? Hey, we're with Think Tech Hawaii. What do I think about New York? North no, Korea? No, yeah, right now with right, all this stuff going on. North Korea is an oppressed communist nation. It is. What do you think North about North Korean, I feel sorry for the people, and I think that they should rise up and upthrow the oppressive government that has been keeping them down for the last 60 something years. How do they do that when they have one of the strongest militaries in the world? There's more people. How did we do it 200 and something years ago? Right. That's a good point. Right? Yeah. They have to want to do it. They seem to be. And also, I think one reason why it's harder for them is because the government there keeps them from organizing. It's hard to get into it where, you know, in, in the United States during our revolution, it was less than 10% of the population that they got everybody else together to rise up against Mother England. Right. Right? I think it's very hard for them to do that over in North Korea. And I've never been there. Are you aware that we are sending a strike force, a naval there's strike a, force over there? There's a naval strike force that was en route to Australia, and they uh, our president, Trump, had turned it around, probably on the uh, recommendation from the uh, admirals and the generals in the uh, Pentagon. Is this something you would support in the future? It doesn't matter whether I support it in the future or in the past or in the present. I have no say in the matter. Correct. I support the president in what he's doing, though. If you had any advice for the president or anyone in between Congress, what would you recommend? What would you say what to him? I recommend to Congress cut down our national debt. That makes us insecure. I don't know if it makes us insecure, but we're twenty trillion dollars in debt. I mean, by the if fact I that we have a big deficit, if I makes us insecure. Spending a million dollars a day from the day I was born till the day I die, I still wouldn't be able to spend the money that is our national debt. All right, that's what I'm more concerned about. We still got the greatest military in the world. We got the highest tech military in the world. We got the best fighting force with the best morale. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the collapse of our society because of our debt. What happened over in Greece, what happened, what's happening in, in Spain, what's happened in Italy, I don't want that happening in my country. And in the last eight years with the previous administration, he's the one that almost doubled our debt. Now you go talk to the average person on the street here, they not, not, might not be aware of what's been going on. Most people today, they get their news from a soundbite from a half an hour TV show. I don't have TV. I don't watch TV. TV screws up the brain matter up here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be added on TV. I could care less. Live. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Live internet, though. Perfect. Okay, okay. I, I, I do a lot on the internet. I do a lot of reading. But I don't believe everything that's on the internet let, either. Let me ask you this question. If you're concerned you're about it, I'm going to ask you a lot more. Okay. If we Why? have a deficit, Why are you going to ask because you've got a lot of opinions and I want to get at them. If you think you're concerned about you a deficit, not yet. This is America. <laughs> Not yet. It costs, if, it costs hang money on. for everything. Let me get, let me get this one out. Pay off this let debt. me get this one out. If you're concerned about the deficit, what, how do you feel about the proposal to increase the military budget? Okay. The military is one thing that I've always felt strongly about. I was in the Marine Corps. I believe in a strong military. One thing I believe is the military boys, men and women that are in the military now are getting paid way too much because when I was in, I was not getting what they're getting paid. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I do, okay, I understand that the military budget is, is uh, very expensive. I also understand that besides the military budget, the VA is the next most costly thing. If you don't have a strong military, you're going to lose your freedom. All right, people say, why are we fighting over in the Middle East? I'd rather be fighting over in the Middle East than fighting on my doorstep. A lot of people don't realize that, don't understand that. A lot of people have not ever been out of this country and seen how oppressed and poor other places are and don't know how well off they are here. I've talked to people that were from Russia, all right, military guys. They said they, they walked into, a, and this is years and years ago when right. Russia was still, you know, communist, in the USSR. They said they walked into a grocery store here and they were amazed. This is back when I think it was the first Russian warship right. came into Pearl Harbor back in the uh, early 90s. I remember I gave them a ride back to the ship in my truck. They said that they were, we sat in a bar and drank whiskey. They loved American whiskey. They said that they were amazed. Why would they not? Because <laughs> well, they weren't drinking vodka. I was like, I'd probably love your Russian vodka too, but 
they were said they were amazed. You walk in the store and it's just packed with food, and and you don't have to wait in line. You can go up and just buy it. They were just amazed with that. Yeah. People here don't realize how good we have it. Look at this. You walk up. That wasn't sold today. Bread. Over in Russia, people would be waiting in line. In certain in, in Venezuela right now, which is everybody's. Oh yeah, communism, socialism, is such a great thing. Go look at Venezuela. They're desperate for food. They're desperate for everything. Yeah. Their, their economy collapsed because it was based on petroleum, which they stole from American companies. The petroleum dollar went down. All of a sudden, they didn't have the money to pay for it. What do you think is going to happen to North Korea if they continue on the way they are? What do you, th yeah, do you think, think China's going to step in? And uh, China is going to step in at all? And China and has recently, from what I had heard, China has amassed 150,000 troops, I think the number was, on the northern border of China and Korea. But most of those troops, from what I gather, are just support. They're not infantry, they're not combat troops. From what I was told, what I heard, and I haven't been able to investigate it yet, what I heard was that they were more like truck drivers, ambulance drivers. They did agree to increasing sanctions against North Korea. They came up with that agreement just recently, I believe it was on Monday. So I, I don't know to who, what extent. Who sanctions hurt in Korea? As far as I know, that Korean president there, every picture I see of him seems like he's gaining a couple more pounds. It doesn't bother him in the least. And they don't allow pictures of the peasants that are out in the fields that are probably dying to have something to eat. I think you make some very good points. And, Timothy, there's a reason why I approached you, because I knew in my heart you would have a good opinion, and I appreciate your time talking about it. But you have an informed opinion, so I appreciate that. All right. No, it's just, that, it's just that some people would rather just listen to what's on the news for 30 minutes and believe it is the truth than to go and seek the truth themselves. Good point. This is the two Timothys from Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you.